Rolling Stones says just about the only place that's growing in the record industry is the business of records. Real records, vinyl. Eagles Hotel California, all brand new, remastered, repressed. That's all they sell here at Origami Vinyl, and it's not just classic rock. Hip hop artists are uh, starting to put their records out on vinyl again as well. So we've got Kanye West. In the age of iTunes, CD sales are tanking, but vinyl sales are up, way up. By some estimates, nearly doubling in the past year alone. It's something that people are embracing more. One year ago, store owner Neil Shield was marketing digital music, but like so many others in the music industry, got laid off. You know, a year later, here I am. Thank you very much, Ken. Here at KCRW. Uh, we have a lot of vinyl, and we're one of the very, very few radio stations that actually have turntables in our control booth, so we support the the broadcast of vinyl. That's because what recently started as a promotional item for record companies has now become an accidental money maker. Now you see a, a nice healthy run and a, a, a profit margin. It's no longer just a, a promotional uh, vehicle but it's something that a record label can do to, to actually turn a profit. Not all vinyl buyers are of a certain age. Uh, no, I'm 23. A lot of people are rediscovering or discovering for the first time vinyl. It's more worth buying to me than a CD. Even the smell of vinyl, it, there, there are qualities that you just love. I mean, you know, a, an MP3 will never do this to you. By definition, compressed audio or the songs you have on your MP3 player sound different than the way they were actually recorded in the studio. What compression does is squish that file down to a size where it's pretty much good to put on your MP3 player. But in that squishing process, you lose something. Basically cuts the top and the bottom off of the high end and the low end, and so what you're getting is just the mid. Uh, but when you listen to an, an, an analog master of something, a, a vinyl record, you know, you get the full breadth of the recording. You get to hear every little intricate um, frequency. I don't really notice the difference. I think listening to vinyl is just a completely different experience. The Consumer Electronics Association says they've seen an uptick in record player sales as well. Some as expensive as the Vestex Goober. Yeah, it retails for $500. Around back, it's got a digital USB port to record your new vinyl back onto your old iPod. An endless cycle that keeps on going around and around. In Echo Park, Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News.